All right, so we have Kathy here. Uh, Kathy is a graduate of the Loyal Method Coaching Program, a former client of mine, and I'd love to chat with you today, Kathy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Very good. Welcome. Welcome. We're going to have a nice casual conversation. We're going to talk a little bit about your journey and, and some of the things that you've experienced along the way and, and get to know you for a little bit. Um, so tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm 58. <laughs> I'm older. I am was set in my ways in a lot of ways. Um, so I'm open to new experiences, and this was one of them. So I'm mom, grandmother, working full-time. Yeah. Um, busy. Life is busy. The thir 13th grandfather on the way. Is that what you said? 13th? 16th? Yes. 13th. 13th. Yeah. Yeah. Um, amazing, amazing. So busy, busy working mama, grandmama. And, yep, yep, um, you know, tell us a little bit about your eating challenges, food challenges, weight challenges, dieting challenges, you know, the reasons within the health and wellness kind of sphere of sort of where you were four months and beyond ago. I was a sugar addict for sure, uh, emotional eater, um, had the mindset that I couldn't lose the weight because I couldn't get myself to not crave all the bad things. Um, yeah, it was hard. I was gaining weight. You know, you, you have changes as you get older and then the weight gain and you just feel really bad about yourself. So it was, it was a rough time. I had lost some weight before, but I don't think it was a very sustainable way to keep it off. Um, so I joined you to try to do some emotional healing and eat in good ways. Um, try to learn more about myself and the things that I was doing to kind of sabotage myself. Yeah. So tell us a little bit, and I'm so glad you did, and you've had some great, done some great work on yourself. Um, so I, I'm sure people can resonate with that term, like sugar addict, um, and being on the up and down weight loss journey, right? There's a lot of, you know, chronic dieters out there who we lose weight, we gain weight, we lose weight, we gain weight. We're not really sure how to sustain that optimal sort of healthy weight and healthy lifestyle. I'm sure that resonates um, when you say emotional eating, tell me a little bit about what that used to look like for you. Anything that would go wrong, you know, um, mostly sadness or boredom. Um, I would turn to food for comfort. Um, I didn't really practice a lot of things that made me happy doing other things like reading or um, crafts or anything like that, I would always go to food instead. So that became my crutch and you kind of get set in that. And sometimes it's really hard to get out of that mindset that you need that food, that you're going to miss out on something if you don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned you'd lost some weight before. Um, you know, what yeah, and that, you know, emotional eating has been this challenge. What did you do or, or any other prior to joining the Lillian Method? Like, what did you try to do on your own to, to overcome some of those challenges? It really um, was about limiting the foods, um, taking them out of um, your diet and then slowly bringing them back in, which sounds good. But you weren't dealing with the emotional side of that. It was basically just the food side and not really understanding how your body was working against you with some of those foods. Um, so this low yo, it was the emotional side of it. You know, the changing the mindset where food comes into play is, is really, um, it's a better choice than yeah. than dieting or limiting your foods 
Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what stood out from you for you about working here together, you know, in our coaching program and with Lilia, like what, what was it that you were like, okay, this is different. This is, this is something that I'd like to do. I think the biggest thing was, um, changing the way you look at yourself, um, the way you look at what you need, what your body needs. Um, you get set in your ways. And, and I think sometimes you need the support to get out of that. Um, sometimes you can't do it on your own. So it was, it's nice to have um, a coach and it's nice to have the other people that you're working with, you know, with the videos and the chats and stuff, um, you hear other stories and you can, you know, assimilate yourself into that. So it's changing the way you look at yourself and what you want for your future. Uh, and I really needed help doing that. So that's why I decided to join you. And I love your honesty your integrity your your ability to say I'm 58 years old and I'm pretty set in my ways and I'm really open to making a change mm -hmm. you have right? to be open yeah. you know right you know it's 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 easy to say in your 20s or your 30s to say yeah I'll change this I'll change that because we don't really know any better but you know you've lived you, you know you've lived a great life you have kids you have grandkids and and some women are like, nope, I know what I know. And I'm just, I'm going to do it this way. And this is how I'm going to do it. And that's that. And if you're someone who is pretty set in your ways, like you are, like you're super open-minded at the same time, which I think has been such a remarkable reason why you were able to say, wow, like I can now really like look at this in a different way and work on, you know, the inner me, um, which, you know, I know that you did and, and did really well. So tell us a little bit about, you know, some of your successes and some of the things that you're, that you're most proud of and, and some of the wins that you've had. It sounds funny, but you really helped push me with not just saying things I was going to do, but actually doing them. Um, one in particular was my craft room. You know, you you kind of encouraged me to get it done, which was very freeing because it gave me space to go in and read my, um, all my, you know, see the videos and read all the information that went with the program. I had my own space. So you were very encouraging in that. That was a win for me because I was being lazy and not doing it. Um, so you you're you help change the focus, which I think we get set in our ways and we think we know everything. So it was it was nice to see that I could still learn, I could still make good changes. Um, I didn't realize that I was hard on myself either. So that was nice to to give myself some grace mm -hmm. and realize that, you know, a little bit of change is good. It might be hard, but it's good. So a lot of little wins, but they add up. The aggregate effect, I call that. So tell me a little bit more about some of those little wins in terms of, you know, the grace that it, that you've given yourself and, and you know, what what those good, you know, what, what those wins were. Making better choices. You know, you don't mm -hmm. think you're going to like the healthy stuff, you know, because you're you're not getting the sugar high or that taste that you're looking for. But when your body feels better, you know, when you get out of bed in the morning and you're not hurting and you're not sick to your stomach, you know, you, you see that the difference. Um, that's encouraging. Those are, you know, every day to see something new, to try something new and realize, Hey, this tastes good. And I don't need what I thought I needed. Um, that was good. Just being in this video and talking about myself is a big win. Um, you know, and I hope it's supportive to other people to do it for themselves as well. Awesome. How's the emotional coping with food and food being a crutch for sadness and boredom and other feelings? 
Um, there's days when it's still a little hard, you know, depending mm -hmm. on what I'm dealing with at the time. But I always have that in the back of my mind that I don't need food. You know, go pick up a book, go for a walk, you know, so it stays with you. You know, you, you can make new habits. Yeah. Um, you just got to keep it in your mind and be open to it. Yeah. I, I, I know that, you know, I know when we last spoke together, I know that that has been a nice improvement on yourself. And the fact that you can also acknowledge that we're not striving to be perfect, you know, all humans eat emotionally at some point. We all do. And I mean, I run a class all about this, you know, the wisdoms behind why we eat emotionally, but it's, it's then what do you do about it? What do you learn from that experience? What are you needing in that moment? What is it telling you, right? Is it telling you, oh, I'm bored. Maybe I need to go into my craft room that I just cleaned out and go do some crafts and spend some time doing and being creative. And now I've learned from my eating behavior, instead of berating myself and just saying, screw it, let me eat the rest of the Oreos because I ate one Oreo, right? Like there's a lot of like learning to be done in that behavior. So even if it happens, it's still, there is wisdom there. There's learning there and it's telling you something. And now you have the tools to be able to utilize to say, oh, okay, yeah. Like I am stressed. So I should tend to this stress in a whole different way in these different outlets, um, which which I know you've been working a lot on in that sort of emotional and, and mental and creativity way. Um, well, that's amazing. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, I guess, um, were there, uh, let's sort of back up a second. Um, were there in the course of, okay, here's Kathy, 58 years old. I am set in my ways, right? Like I'm, I'm, I do things the way that I, I want to do them. Did you have any hesitancies or fears or nervous, you know, nervousness to invest in coaching and the program? Um, and if so, like, how did you kind of overcome that for yourself? Were there fears? Were there, were there nerves? All of the above. Um, it's you're investing time, you're investing money. Um, you're investing in somebody you really don't know yet. Um, so yes. there's a lot of, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that you, you really, it goes through your mind. Um, but you have to think of where you're at and knowing that you want to change. So you've got to give yourself the freedom to be open to that change and to somebody that can help you. Um, we might think we know everything, but we don't. So it's nice to have somebody open your mind um, to new ways to help yourself. Yeah, um, I love that. Women yeah, especially, right? Right. Yes. Women think we know it all. We're, we're moms, we raise kids, like we're doing it all. We're working women, yeah. we're a career mom, we're a stay at home, like whatever it is, wherever you are, I, I feel this is a commonality between women. We know what we know. We should know, we, we tell ourselves, we should know it all. We should be able to do this all. But somehow, some way, like we do get stuck and yeah. we do require support and help and assistance in whatever fashion. I've been down this road plenty of times before, right? So yeah. it's, it's really amazing what happens when you can be honest with yourself like you did, open up and say, hey, you know, I, I, I do need the support. I think honesty is a big thing. Um, cause it frees you when you know that you've been doing something for many, many years and it's not working, you know, you know, you need to change something and sometimes you can't do that alone. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have that support. Amazing. Well, it's been an amazing journey together, supporting you along the way. Before we sort of wrap up, Kathy, tell me, um, you know, if you were to tell other women who are in your similar shoes something, give them some sort of advice, what would that be? Open your mind. Um, let other people help you because there's a lot of good advice out there. And there are a lot of women that really care about other women out there. Um, you know, listen to what they say and, and do what they say because it works. 
Um, but be open, be open to change, be open to new ideas that you didn't, you know, think about or think would work for you because you'd be surprised at what can work for you. Um, and it's nice to meet new people too. It's always good. Love it. Love it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today and congratulations on all your wins and successes. Thank you. Congratulations to you too. A lot of thank new you. stuff going on with you too. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Take good care.